This program contains hunting scenes which some viewers may find disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Curiosity is presented by Intel, sponsors of tomorrow. We've killed an elk, and all of us are shocked by the emotional impact. Is he still breathing? No. We have to set our feelings aside and get to the task at hand. A race to field dress the elk and get the meat back to camp so we can finally eat. We've got food, and that makes a huge difference now, y'all. Yeah. A huge difference. I think this arrow should belong to you. We're gonna have to quarter him right here. Well, we gotta start doing something now before. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go get the tools so we can start cleaning. Yeah, we're fighting the clock because a big animal like this holds a lot of heat and can spoil very quickly. So we're rushing as fast as we can to get this thing butchered so that we can get it back to camp. To butcher the elk, we have to slice it open and remove all the organs. It's a bloody labor intensive process. It's important not to cut the stomach, bladder, or intestines because doing so could taint the meat and render it inedible. Once it's gutted, we'll quarter it and then carry the meat back to camp. Is that breaking through? Hell yeah, look at that. The stone tools worked surprisingly well. They are razor sharp, and I was able to open that elk just as quickly as if I'd had a razor blade in my hand. This thing's got a mammoth-sized liver. That's huge. a liver right there. Yeah, freaking huge. We're going to quarter it, and then when we get back to camp, we actually have a creek that is fed by uh, snow melt, so it's barely above freezing, and so we're going to cache a bunch of the meat in that snow melt, and uh, that would last for weeks, possibly months. If I can get in there. I'm going to pull the ribs up a little bit. We're so much on a time limit, so we have to work fast. It's a huge, huge piece of meat, so we're going to go back uh, stacked. With, with meat for tonight and tomorrow and the next day and the next day. Nice job, Billy. Yeah. Nice job, y'all, for getting the elk. I think the fact that this group took an elk with an atlatl is just mind-blowing. I can't imagine what they're gonna, how, how their reaction is gonna be when we walk in with an elk. I think it may be one of the largest animals taken with an atlatl in modern times and certainly with Paleolithic stone points. And the fact that this group could be out here for one week and actually bring down a creature as big and magnificent as an elk is really a trivia to this group's abilities.